Hi guys, I'm welcome to a new video. So today I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus together with me and we are going to update this phone here to Android 12. As you can see, it is, oops, um, it is still running on Android 11. Here we've got the Easter egg of Android 11 and the One UI version is One UI 3.1. So we are basically going to update this phone to One UI version 4 and <clears throat> the update is out in Switzerland and you can install the update through Odin wherever you are. So it doesn't matter. So you don't need to be in Switzerland to update your phone to Android 12. Right. Um, so there are a couple of things you need to do in order to install the update uh, manually. So there are a few things you need to download. You can download everything in the description from the description below. Um, so there are basically two files you will need to download. Um, the first file is um, the firmware itself. I've already extracted the firmware here and you will also need to download Odin. So this is the program which we are using to um, install the update. Right, so after you have downloaded both things you can basically start with the progress. Alright guys, so the very first thing you should do is to back up your data because there is a chance of losing your data. So if you've got important stuff on your phone or stuff which is important for you, you should definitely make a backup and copy your important files to your PC or to a USB stick or uh, wherever you want. Um, but even if everything goes well and um, your phone does not get resetted, um, you should still do a factory set by yourself. So this process, I mean, I would highly recommend you to back up your data because I will. Uh, I would also highly recommend you to do a factory set after the upgrading process. So um, do these things because only these things are safe for you. I mean, if you are not doing a factory set after the upgrading process, your phone may get laggy or stuff probably won't work well. Um, all right, so with that being said, we can start now. The very first thing you will need to do is to power off your phone. So let's do that pretty quick. Then you will need to open Odin. So let's open that program. Um, right click on Odin and open it as an administrator. Mm. Press on OK. And this here is Odin. So this is the latest version which is um, compatible with Android 12. Um, so we've got our firmware over here. I've pasted it on my desktop. And these are the five files. Okay. Um, we basically need to um, open each file here in Odin. So press on AP, on CP, on CSC and on bootloader. Um, if you press on bootloader, you will basically need to uh, navigate to your firmware folder and um, check the bootloader file. So this will take a moment. All right, now we are moving to AP. So basically open the AP file. This file is a bit big, so it might take a while until it's loaded. <clears throat> Alright, so um, now check the CP file and then uh, we're going to open the CSC file and here on the CSC file there's something special. Um, so we've got a normal CSC file and a home CSC file. If you don't want to do a factory reset after you um, after the upgrading process, you should uh, check the home CST uh, file. If you are sure that you are that you want to do a factory reset, you can also take the CST um, the CST package. I'm going to try it with the home CST package here. Right. So now we have uh, set everything up in Odin. Now we need to prepare our phone. So just unplug it from um, 
from the cable. Uh, the way we are booting into the download mode is a bit different on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So you will need to press on the volume, the volume up button and on the volume down button. And after holding these two buttons for like two seconds, you will need to connect your cable, which is connected to your PC. So um, just do that. So I will put my camera here. I mean, it's a bit hard to film that. So what you basically need to do is to press on these two volume buttons for about two seconds and then plug in the USB cable and then you are in the download mode. So let me do that pretty quick. So this is the message you will get when you are in the download mode. Here you will basically need to press on the volume up button to continue. And here we go. So this here is the download mode. All right. And if you are already successful in the download mode, Odin should also detect your phone together with this blue bar here. So if you don't see this blue bar, you will probably need to install the Android drivers from Google or you will also need to download the um, Samsung USB drivers. Or you probably also, or you probably just need to unplug your USB cable and plug it back again. All right. So now we've uh, everything set up so we've got Odin together with our four files and we've also got our phone in the download mode which is connected to our PC so the only thing which we need to do now is to press on start so this process could take like a few minutes since the system package is bigger than six gigabytes um, you just need to wait in this case should say something like pass and the box here should get green and your phone should restart automatically um, so the first booting time may take a while so it may take like many minutes so we just need to wait and you can also see that oops okay I wasn't able to read that um, but yeah you will just need to wait until your phone boots up you can also see that the phone is updating or not updating, optimizing uh, its apps. So this process will happen uh, if you, or I think this process is there in both cases. So if you are, uh, if you have done a factory set before, or I mean, it actually doesn't matter. So this process will always be there and will also take its time. So again, just need to wait. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, this year is Android 12, and I think the font has been changed together with Android 12. Um, so this year is my phone, and I haven't made a factory set yet, but I'm planning to do so. Um, so here you can see the new interface of Android uh, 12. You can see that the notifications got a bit smaller, so they used to be a bit bigger or... I think these are the normal, the small notifications. I'm not pretty sure, but you can also see that you've got the mute icon down there instead of having it on uh, behind the notifications. So they moved it in the, not in the notifications themselves and the brightness slider got a bit thicker. But um, yeah, so we are going to talk about all these things um, in my next video. So... I would really, I, w I would be really thankful if you could also watch my next video. So just to support me, if I helped you uh, in this video here. So I've got a few problems together with the YouTube monetization, monetization stuff and all that. So I'd be really thankful if you could also watch my next video. So um, yeah, if you have some questions, you can ask them down below in the comment section. I will try to answer to all of you, and. Uh, yeah, peace out. Or probably I could also show you that we've successfully updated the phone to Android 12 here. So let me show you that pretty quick uh, software information. So here you can see that we've updated to Android 4.0 and uh, sorry, the One UI version 4.0 and the Android version is Android 12 here. So here we've got the clock. Here you can see the heartbeat of the clock every time when we pass the pass 12. But yeah, so this is everything uh, I've got. You can also see we've got a few new animations um, here and there. 
the notification panel has also got a new kind of animation when you scroll it down or scroll it up looks kind of nice and we've also got a new over scrolling effect here it's pretty much like uh, the animation which you've got in on xiaomi phones i think but yes it's kind of nice yeah peace out